Did you know that millions of people live with low blood oxygen levels without even realizing it? This condition, called hypoxemia, can be caused by respiratory problems, heart diseases, sleep disorders, and even exposure to high altitudes. And the worst part? Ignoring the signs can put your health at risk, and in extreme cases, it can even be fatal. But how do you know if this is happening to you? Stay tuned, as in today's video, we'll reveal 10 strange signs that might indicate your body isn't getting enough oxygen. Additionally, you'll learn practical and natural tips to improve your breathing and, of course, your quality of life. During the pandemic, scenes of people struggling to breathe with oxygen masks and mechanical ventilators made it clear how vital oxygen is to our bodies. But here's a warning. You don't need to be severely ill to suffer from low blood oxygen levels. This can happen to anyone, and the symptoms are often so subtle they go unnoticed. Oxygen is the fuel that keeps everything running. When something fails, whether due to respiratory problems, heart issues, sleep disorders, or other factors, oxygen levels drop and the body starts showing signs. Ignoring these signs can be dangerous and fatal, putting your health at risk. One of these symptoms might be something you never imagined could be related to this. Curious to find out? But first, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Do you know if your oxygen level is normal? What part of the world are you from? After you've watched the video, drop a comment below so we can get to know each other better. 1. Constant and unexplained headaches Everyone gets headaches from time to time, but if they're frequent and without apparent cause, it could be a sign of hypoxemia, low level of oxygen in the blood. When oxygen is lacking, the brain works with less fuel, which causes tension and discomfort. These headaches tend to be more intense in the morning, especially if the cause is linked to respiratory problems during sleep, such as sleep apnea. If the pain persists without explanation, it's important to investigate. A good start is to check blood oxygen levels with a finger pulse oximeter, a simple, quick, and painless test. 2. Endless fatigue and weakness Are you feeling tired all the time, even after a good night's sleep? This might be more than just stress or a busy schedule. Low oxygen levels can lead to less energy reaching your cells, which can cause chronic fatigue and muscle weakness. Simply relying on coffee or taking quick naps won't solve the issue. The real problem is a lack of oxygen. If you find yourself struggling to get through the day without a clear reason, take note of your breathing and think about checking your oxygen levels. 3. Shortness of breath Getting out of breath climbing a few stairs? That's okay, it happens. But if simple tasks like making the bed or carrying a light bag leave you breathless, this could be a warning sign. When oxygen levels are low, your body has to work harder to maintain minimum O2 levels in the tissues. The result? short, shallow breathing, and that constant feeling of gasping for air. Conditions like COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, asthma, anemia, and even being overweight can be behind this difficulty. If this is constant, don't ignore it. 4. Mental confusion and difficulty concentrating. The brain consumes about 20% of the oxygen we breathe. If this delivery fails, it's your cognitive ability that pays the price. The consequence? Slow thinking, difficulty concentrating, mental confusion, and even short-term memory lapses. Simple tasks seem harder, and maintaining focus becomes a real challenge. If you've been more forgetful lately, having trouble thinking quickly, or feeling spaced out, you should pay attention. Low oxygen levels might be affecting more than just your work productivity. They could be compromising your health. 5. Bluish skin, lips, or nails cyanosis. Cyanosis is a more visible sign, but it's not always readily associated with lack of oxygen. It occurs when there's little oxygen in the bloodstream, causing the skin, lips, or nails to take on a bluish or purplish tint. Typically, this is most noticeable in the body's extremities, such as fingers, toes, and around the lips. If you notice the symptom, seek medical help immediately. Cyanosis indicates that hypoxemia is already at a more advanced stage. 6. Rapid Heartbeat Tachycardia When oxygen is lacking, the heart tries to compensate by speeding up its rhythm to pump more blood. This causes you to feel palpitations or rapid heartbeats even while at rest. Of course, anxiety and stress can also cause this sensation, but if tachycardia is constant, investigate. A racing heart without apparent reason can be a clear sign that tissues are suffering from lack of oxygen. 7. Dizziness and feeling faint Dizziness, that sensation that the room is spinning or feeling like you might faint when getting up from a chair or bed, can be another strange sign of low oxygen levels. With less O2 reaching the brain, the ability to maintain balance and stability decreases. If you frequently experience vertigo when changing positions, it might be a good idea to check the health of your respiratory and cardiovascular systems. 8. Lack of physical endurance and decreased exercise performance 
Athletes and active individuals may notice hypoxemia through the decline in sports performance. If you used to run, cycle, or exercise with relative ease and now feel exhausted much sooner than before, it might be due to less oxygen available in your muscles. After all, when oxygen in muscles is insufficient, fatigue sets in faster and your body constantly gasps for air. This doesn't just affect athletes. If carrying grocery bags or climbing stairs has become a huge effort, pay attention. It could be a silent symptom of hypoxemia. Before we continue, I've got some exciting news to share. If you want to get more engaged, I'm excited to inform you that we now offer channel membership. As a member, you'll pay a small monthly fee and unlock some amazing perks like early access to new videos, priority replies to your comments, members-only shorts, polls, quizzes, and special emojis and loyalty badges just for you. It's a fantastic way to support the channel and connect with us even more. Just click the Join button and let's make this experience even better together. 9. Mood Changes, Irritability, and Anxiety Lack of oxygen can affect the nervous system, leading to subtle changes in mood. Some people report increased irritability, anxiety without apparent reason, and even symptoms similar to panic attacks. This happens because the brain, when not receiving enough oxygen, enters a constant alert state. If you feel more tense, nervous, or easily irritable without a clear trigger, your blood oxygenation might be impaired. Sometimes, the problem might be more physical than emotional. 10. Weak or slow-growing nails and hair This sign might seem unusual, but insufficient oxygen supply to hair follicles and nail roots can affect the growth and health of these tissues. In other words, dull, brittle hair and weak, slow-growing nails might be a consequence of circulation and oxygenation problems. If you've already tried vitamin and mineral supplements without success, it might be worth checking your blood oxygen levels, as treating the root cause might bring improvements to your hair roots. Common Causes of Low Oxygen Levels Now that you know the signs, it's worth understanding the main causes behind hypoxemia. Respiratory problems such as asthma, COPD, and pulmonary fibrosis are common, as are heart diseases that make blood oxygenation difficult. Additionally, factors like high altitudes, where the air is thinner, sleep apnea, and respiratory disorders during the night can also lower oxygen levels. Even conditions like anemia, which reduce blood's ability to transport O2, make the list of culprits. If you suspect hypoxemia, the best course of action is to see a doctor. They can order tests like arterial blood gases or use the well-known pulse oximeter to measure oxygen saturation, SpO2. Be aware, levels below 90 to 92% require immediate attention. How to naturally increase oxygen levels? In addition to following treatment prescribed by a healthcare professional, some simple routine changes can help improve body oxygenation. Breathing exercises, like inhaling deeply through the nose and slowly releasing air through the mouth, are great allies for increasing lung efficiency in oxygen exchange. Regular physical activities, such as walking, light jogging, or cycling, strengthen the heart and lungs, facilitating oxygen absorption and transport throughout the body. Another important point is keeping the environment around you well ventilated. Opening windows, letting air circulate, and even investing in purifying plants like the snake plant can ensure an environment richer in oxygen. And of course, quitting smoking is essential. Cigarettes compromise the lungs and hinder oxygen absorption, not to mention the general health damage. A balanced diet also makes all the difference. Foods rich in iron, such as lean meats, lentils, and leafy greens, help blood transport oxygen more efficiently. And don't forget to include fruits and vegetables, which keep the body in balance. Proper hydration is also essential, as water improves blood circulation, facilitating oxygen transport to tissues. Finally, posture plays a more important role than it seems. Sitting or standing with an aligned spine prevents the lungs from being compressed, allowing for broader and more efficient breathing. Remember, if you suspect your oxygen levels are low, seeing a doctor is essential. Natural measures can help, but they don't replace professional diagnosis and treatment, especially if you have an underlying health condition. Have you noticed any of these strange signs? Leave your comment below and let's continue learning together. If you found this video helpful, please type yes in the comments below. I also encourage you to check out these two videos we selected especially for you. Thanks for watching.